Listen, I love me some video games, right? I love that shit. Pretty much all of my spare time as a kid was spent either jerking off or playing video games. These two things are my childhood. But what the fuck is going on with games nowadays, man? Everything's on pussy mode and they're making it so everyone gets to win. That's not how games should be, man! Now listen, don't get me wrong though, right? Video games are still good, but they're not great. So what better time to talk about how to make video games great again than right after Donald Trump has become president? But there's one thing about video games that draws me up the fucking wall more than anything, right? And that is... FUCKING TROPHIES! Oh my god, man! Listen, video games nowadays are fucking obsessed with giving you trophies to make you feel good about yourself, right? And I have no idea why. I'll get given them for the stupidest reasons ever. Now, like, I'll still be in the tutorial stages, still figuring out what each fucking button does, right? And the game's handing out trophies to me like I'm in the Special Olympics. Did you press R to walk? <coughs> Trophy! Did you press square to pick up a gun? <coughs> Trophy! Did you just get a trophy? <coughs> FUCKING TROPHY! <coughs> what is this? <coughs> no, but seriously though, I did some quick research and I found some pretty bad ones. Like, some of the trophies you can get are fucking unbelievable and I think that I've found five of the absolute worst. Like, everyone knows about being given trophies for stuff like Ooh, did you complete the first level of the game where literally nothing can kill you? Guess who deserves a trophy? <coughs> but that's nothing compared to these five. So here's my list of five of the worst video game trophies I've ever heard of in the past hour and a half or so. And number five on our list is a trophy called Everyone is Awesome from the video game Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. The team who made this game decided that it would be a good idea to award you a trophy for going into the start menu and watching the fucking credits. Yes, that's right. For watching names slowly scroll up a screen. What? What the fuck is this, man? Now look at this shit. How the fuck is watching this a challenge? And let me go one step further, right? There is nothing that is challenging to watch from start to finish. And I mean nothing. Like watching two goes one cup. Easy. Watching Filthy Frank's vomit cake. I'll jerk off to that video. Watching Crumble Cut videos. Alright, if you can sit through that shite, maybe you do deserve a trophy, right? But a trophy for watching the fucking credits? No, man! At number 4 on our list is a trophy called Birth of an Assassin from Assassin's Creed 2. And this trophy is pretty fucking difficult to get, right? So let me explain how to get it. <clears throat> okay, so you start the game, right? And that's it! You get the trophy! What the fuck, man? Before you've even had a chance to do anything, right? They've already awarded you a trophy for starting the fucking game! Listen, I can't get over how stupid that is, man. Rewarding someone who bought your game for starting the fucking game. Well, what else were they going to do with it, mate? Buy the game and not start it? Bring it home and just throw it in the bin, yeah? <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? You twat. But seriously, though, awarding purchases of your game for starting the fucking game. Can it get any stupider than that? <laughs> well, of course it can, mate. With number three on our list. Now, listen, in the super popular game Eat Lead, The Return of Matt Hazard... <laughs> the fuck? There's a trophy called Take 5, right? When you get awarded a trophy in recognition of your landmark achievement... <laughs> ...of pausing the fucking game! What?! Pressing... Pressing the start button! That's all it is, man! And they're giving you a trophy for this! What kind of dipsy reason is that to give out a trophy? For pausing the game. Just think about that for a second, right? That basically means that if you're playing this game and you need to go for a piss halfway through it... YOU GET REWARDED FOR IT! THE FUCK?! And also, right, how ironic that you get rewarded for taking a piss by a game that reviews say is a complete piece of shit! But if you think that rewarding players for things like starting and pausing a game are stupid reasons for handing out trophies, then you should probably stay away from the God of War collection for the PS3. Cause they have a trophy where they reward you, not for kicking ass at their game, 
but for sucking dick at instead. And I'm not exaggerating. They have a trophy, right? Which is literally called... <sighs> getting my ass kicked. Which rewards you for being fucking terrible at their game. So how do you get it? Well, as this guy describes on PlayStationTrophies.org, to get the trophy, you... Just die at the beginning about five or six times in a row. What the fuck? What? Mate, you cannot be serious. You actually get rewarded for dying. That's stupid, man. Why the fuck are you giving out trophies for people being shit at something? Listen, unless you're a prostitute, right? You should not be rewarded for sucking. And at number one on our list... Can anyone tell me what the only thing dumber than rewarding players for playing your game and being shit at it is? That's right, mate! Rewarding players of your game for not playing your game at all! What?! And again, right, I'm not exaggerating. There are games like Flower and Journey for the PS3, right? That give players a trophy for not playing their game for an entire week. Fucking hell! What is this game? Fucking cigarettes? Or drugs? Will you get rewarded for quitting it because it's bad for you? Is it really that fucking bad? Oh, Jesus Christ, man! You know a game is bad when the game itself rewards you for avoiding it. <sighs> yeah, I don't blame you, mate. I wouldn't play me either. I suck. Now listen, before anyone starts, right, I get the appeal of trophies. Like, I used to kind of be a trophy hunter myself. Like back in the days when Modern Warfare 2 was the shit and wasn't fucking infested with hackers leaping to the heavens every match like it is now, right? Tango sucker! I used to love, and I mean love, collecting those little emblems and titles that they had in the game. But for fuck's sake, man, play any game nowadays and it will be fucking raining trophies. Listen, if you want to get something like a trophy in a video game, right? It makes sense that you should have to fucking earn it. But nowadays, trophies are so easy to get, right? That it's genuinely harder to pay half an hour and not get a trophy. In fact, right, there should probably be a trophy for that. Why do video games do this, man? Reward people for actually being shit. That's fucking stupid. Listen, do you think that Tyler Perry and Adam Sandler deserve trophies for making so many bad movies? Should Meek Mill get a trophy for taking as many L's as he has? Or Fousey 2 for his shitty fake pranks? No! No, they shouldn't! So video games shouldn't do the same either. This is starting to make me think that video game trophies are like AIDS. There's something you want to fucking avoid. By the way, right, really quickly, I've not uploaded in the past three weeks or so, right? And I just thought I'd update you lot on why. Like, it's just some real life shit. And not only that, right, but I moved into my new place not too long ago, and it looks like a fucking bomb went off. Now listen, I don't really tweet or use any of my social medias to talk about stuff aside from my videos too much, right? So people might have thought that I died in the past three weeks or something. And if you saw my place, right, you'd think I died too. But listen, fuck that, right? Back to making videos now, okay? And also, in the times in between videos, right, I'm trying to stream more on my Twitch, so if you want to ever check and see if I'm alive or not, that's the place I'll be in between video uploads. Right? Twitch. You see? And by the way, right, I'm going to be having a beauty slash Photoshop enhancement stream right after I upload this video. So if you have some photos of yours that you want me to touch up right, whether it's giving you a Hollywood smile, making you look more muscular, or make you look more tan, then come down, mate! Send me an Imja link, Imga link, or have you say that right, and I'll make you look fucking sexy. So go follow me on Twitch if you give a shit. Right, cheers, guys. Hopefully I'll see you there, mate. Peace.